Hi Jack. Thank you very much for doing the shoot today in this rather inclement weather. It's been pretty poor, isn't it? It's been tropical, like a Maldivian <laughs> island. Not. So you're obviously a bit of a golfer yourself. You obviously like getting out. How often do you play? Um, I probably play in the summer, once a week. Okay. Um, and then in the winter, slightly, slightly a Gucci golfer. I'll only play if it's like above freezing. But yeah, I love it. It's just a great excuse to get out with the boys. Um, there's such satisfaction in connecting with the ball and doing an amazing 17 foot putt. Like it's better than sex sometimes. <laughs> How did you get into the game? Um, I met a very handsome, tall, dark haired man on the rooftop of a bar about three years ago. And he told me that he played golf and I was a bit love at first sight so I told him that I played golf as well which is a complete lie but I wanted to impress him so I held up the facade and then three weeks later we were on the golf course with his parents and I'd never swung a, a golf club in my life and it took me five attempts um, to hit the ball even on the first tee with my driver and he just came over and whispered in my ear you haven't played before have you and I went no and he went it's all right I really like you that's nice and we well, stayed together for two years so that was nice happy ending it's a happy ending. And now I've got golf, even though I don't have him. <laughs> Fantastic. What's your handicap on that note then? I play off 20, well, around 23, 22, something like that. Okay. Is there a club you'd love pulling out of the bag? Um, at the moment, I'm just loving driving because yep. I seem to have just got that down. So if you could choose anyone in the world of golf to play with, who would you play with? I would probably have to say Adam Scott. <laughs> Any particular reason for that? Oh, he's got such a lovely swing. <laughs> Is that all? And if he could show me around Augusta, my favourite course in the whole entire world, that would make me very happy. Do you watch a lot of professional golf? A lot. I think I'm one of the sort of very few women out there that actually sat down and watched the whole of the Masters weekend um, with some drinks and some food and just enjoyed it there i mean i don't i don't sit down and watch every single golf tournament obviously but things like the masters at augusta you just can't beat it have you ever been lucky enough to work in sports broadcasting yes so last summer obviously the year of the olympics i got to do um i was at the beach volleyball presenting the swimming marathon and the triathlon men and women so i had the best two weeks of my life to be part of that and to actually witness it and see people winning their gold medals and the blood, sweat and tears was, it was a career highlight for me, definitely. But when it finished, I felt I, I couldn't stop crying. I had to like go home and spend two days just, just coming off that, that massive adrenaline rush. There's something about being part of sports, you know, watching people win and watching people lose that just, yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah. What would you say to a young girl who actually was thinking about getting into the game? Okay, this is, this is literally going to be my biggest regret on my deathbed that I never turned pro as a golfer. So if there are any girls out there thinking about being a pro golfer, I would say just do it. Do it now. Yeah. Right, well, thank you very much. Thank you Speaking very much. It's been a great day. Thanks, Jack. Despite the weather.